Um, so I'm looking right into the camera. You can look at me. Okay. I'll be more natural. If you're <laughs> yeah. Um, my name is Nadia Islam. I'm 15. I'll be turning 16 next month. Um, I've been living in Cardiff for just about 16 years. So my whole life, Riverside especially. Um, I go to St. Cyrus High School from Hana. I'm in year 10, I'll be going to year 11 soon, starting my GCSEs. Um, my interests are more like in science, history, uh, French. Um, I don't like sport, which is kind of obvious. I don't like fruit. And um, I, I'm slightly awkward. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about your volunteering experience? So, um, my mum kind of put me into volunteering. We've always been one to always be part of the community in any kind of way. So, I tend to volunteer for things like, there's one particular group, it's called the Bangladesh Academy UK. And it's like a small school that teach um, Bangladeshis. And uh, what I do is, because I'm to a point where I can't actually even in school I'm very old now. I volunteer by helping, so teaching. Um, if there'll be groups, we help them perform with their dance recitals. And other than that, there's with um, the party, Fight Cymru. I volunteer with them. I actually just finished work experience with them in the Welsh Assembly. So um, I've been working around with them. I go around uh, canvassing and campaigns. Um, but this is all like to my choice. So I, I ask to help. It's not usually a force. Can I ask you what motivates you to do it? If it's your choice, like why do you feel so passionate about um, it? I like helping. It's nice that, that feeling is after helping is quite nice. And also, especially during summer holidays, there's nothing else to do really. So it's it's like time consuming as well. That's why. So do you think that what you do in your volunteer work it's a good uh, impact in the community? How do you think yeah, the community benefits? Um, definitely. I think in a way where you especially for living here for quite long, a lot of people know you. So friends, families, uh, neighbours and such. So um, when you volunteer, your neighbourhood knows who you are and so they're not in a way uncomfortable. They're like, okay, I know who she is. Um, I'm okay with this. So they, it's like um, they're, we're both working together to get that impact. So in a way, it's not just a one-sided job. So that's why volunteering kind of helps in a way. And also, when you you know that someone in the neighborhood is going to help you, it's nice just to get that feedback. Why do you think having a tight-knit community and volunteering is a good thing? It's a good thing because things get done. Um, when you know that person, I think it's you feel more safer. And um, it's not as hostile as you think it would be. So. What are some of the achievements that your volunteer projects have done? So can you tell me, you know, the first time about the Bangladeshi Academy? Like what right. kind of so, events have you been on? Or um, the big events? So we've done, if you, every year, Cardiff Bay has like a festival, they call it a Mela. And um, Bangladeshi Academy, uh, they get the girls to perform on stage. Now, if there's a lot of like, help to do this you got to get them ready you got to make sure that everyone's here um, sometimes there's like transport issues so you can help with that and um, there's also like help with the funding so with that it also makes a big difference um, the little girls I've known they're like my sister's friends so with that that helps as well because then they're, they're uncomfortable they're not uncomfortable and um, it's just I think with me helping there I find it more easier to get around and it's also it's just it's just nice at the end of the day. So. Can you tell me a bit about the achievements with, uh, with Clyde? Yeah. Uh, Clyde Cymru is a the second most popular party in Wales right now. Um, I've been like connected with them since I think 2007 but this mainly because of my mum and dad. Uh, so I kind of grew up with like what was happening and search with them every elections coming through and it's a bit weird just like to stand to the side so um, as I got older I started to get involved with them I would go around with my dad and my mum um, again with camp and campaigning so um, I just grew to volunteer at the end of the day so yeah okay so Bangladesh Academy UK is a school for um, 
they teach like the language Bangla and um, the kids do like dancing and singing but dancing is one of the most popular ones so um, now that I've gone to an age where I can't actually be part of it because I used to be part of the group um, I volunteer to help so with getting them ready, getting them dressed um, at practices I help them with the practices and singing and stuff like that and then at performances I'll be there to support them make sure like they're okay to go they're ready or not um, how to get this like transport issues and such and just the full support to be there so um, I've been with them for quite a long time so we know each other and the little girls and the new people that come on it's like sort of a welcome and they know that they've got like a role model to look up to and how do you think, um, do you consider being part of politics as a form of volunteering and why? Why is that so, volunteering? Yeah. Um, politics, it's a, it's a messy little thing, I, I would say. But um, again, because I grew up with it, I can't, it's just either loving it or hating it. It's and definitely volunteering. I yeah. to get your... Experience. Yeah, volunteering. Um, the reason why I, I choose to volunteer is because... I think I just, I, I like helping and I know that pride makes differences so um, I always want to be part of something or not. And last question, um, what do you think volunteering overall, this contribution to society, maybe not just in Cardiff but um, the whole? Yeah, I mean at the end of the day a lot of people um, don't realise that volunteering is just a form of help. Sometimes um, it's probably because they don't get paid instead of uh, you know, money, but at the end of the day, you're getting help. Yeah, so you're getting help at the end of the day, and um, it's just it's important just to know that volunteering can get a lot of things done, so that's why.